All right. So here we are in the images of the Pi 16 gigabyte images for like the Pi 2, the Pi 3. It's a very bare bones image. It doesn't have any main games whatsoever. So no arcade. Let's see what we got here. We got Atari 2600, 562 games. Atari 7000, 59 games. Atari Lynx, 85. Oh, it's cool. It tells you the date it was uh, released. Uh, Game Gear, 253 games. Game Boy, 602. Game Boy Advance, only 98. So some of these other images have like a thousand Game Boy Advance. So this is definitely a stripped down Game Boy Color, 507. Sega Master System, 349. Sega Genesis, 720. Nintendo 64, only 10. Yeah, and there's 303. Uh, Neo Geo, 113. Ray's image has way more than that. There's another 50 or so. Nintendo, 674. Turbo Graphics, 16, 104. PlayStation, I don't even know why they put that system on here. 11. Okay, so it's a very small. Oh, Super Nintendo. We skipped that one. Uh, 721 games. While we're just looking over this image, oh, with those sound effects. Hmm. Like stamps. Okay, RetroPie setup. Wow, so cool. So I just want to see what kind of packages are in here. We're on 4.1.18, so it is a fairly updated um, image. And then let's just see what we have. Yeah, so nothing, nothing really in here. Nothing really installed. Just those basic systems on the main packages. I and mean, this is bare bones to get a 16 gigabyte SD card, which is not much space, not much at all. Okay, so you have the PS, the PlayStation uh, portable emulator installed. I don't know why. There's no, I didn't see any PSP games on here. No Cody. You can obviously install that if you like, though. Okay, so that's all we got there. Drivers, just the X pad, which is pretty typical. And experimental. I'm I'm imagining that most of these, if not all of them, are not installed. Let's just have a quick look. All right. Yep. So no experimental packages. So there you go. You saw what version we were running. You saw how many games we had. Let's just have a quick look at inside this image. See uh, of the eleven Nintendo games which ones are on here so super nintendo has probably most of them you can uh turn off these sound effects by pressing start sound settings and then uh you can turn enable sounds off right here Let's see if we go back now Let's see now we have these off okay so i'm not a big fan of atari game game boy is cool that they change it to black and white background so you got the amount of players released. Well, the amount of players don't seem to be this. Well, I guess it's all one for Game Boy. It's pretty self-explanatory, but for like Sega, some of the games have one. Some of them are blank. But a lot of the box art is here. ALF is not there, though. What the hell? Alien Storm, great game. Okay, we got the Sega Master System, Sega Genesis. Um, so here's a Nintendo 64. You have Donkey Kong, which does run. Doom, which does run. Dr. Mario runs Mario Kart, Star Fox runs. Yep, yep. It's a little laggy. Also, these Zelda games are a little laggy. And then the Wayne Gretzky. I'm not sure if this is the one that runs, but when I did the Nintendo 64 test, one of the one or two of the hockey games did run just fine. Here's your Neil Geo. Let's uh, run a search. You hit select. You can go down. Let's go to M and uh, see if Metal Slug is here. A lot of people like that game, me included. Yeah, cool. So you have Metal, Metal Slug 1 through 6 plus X. I mean, that in itself is a cool image. Uh, Drift Out, I really like that as well. Really good game. Let's keep, let's finish checking out these uh, systems. Turbo Graphics 16. Very nice. Good artwork. You see that each game has different you know color schemes. So all these games I do know were Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 2, that's cool, because Grand Theft Auto 1 is on Rage, so you get a different one. I think so. Is it GTA? GTA 3? Hmm. 
Parappa the Rapper's on here that's not on Ray. Uh, Spyro didn't work on Ray. I wonder if it works on this one. Let's check that out. Old pack works on here. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free Welcome. dragons in the artisan world. Okay. And find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What a nasty nork. I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Which reminds me a lot of Mario sixty four. Okay, well, this is working just fine. Run and jump. Does that work? Okay. Start select. Exit the game. So I'm excited about a couple of these uh, games. Like, uh, also, Silent Hill is a great scary game. I mean, you got Altered Beast, you got Sonic, you can just go press select, go over to S for Sonic. This does not have a track mode. It is emulation station, but it's got its custom little streets of rage. It's got its custom um, emulation station, which is cool. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, a lot of great games. Uh, should have all the Sonic as well. Star Trek. Whoa. Road Rash 1 through 3. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Hedgehog 1, 2, 3, Sonic 3, Blast, Sonic Compilation, Sonic Fan 6, Sonic Spinball, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and a 3. So, should be able to get your Sonic on. No problem. So, a lot of great titles. I don't think any of these, um, I mean, they should all run, you know, Game Boy. Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. You know, we've been emulating that stuff for a long time. So this works just fine. Castlevania. All right, in order to get the image, just go ahead and go to Arcade Punks. They have <coughs> a lot of the downloads there. And for this image, it's going to be the 16 gigabyte RetroPie 1, 2, and 3, including ROMs using box art by Robo. Um, looks like there's a torrent and then there's the mega as well. I use the mega uh, using the mega downloader app. If you want to use the app, the program, I'll put a link to how to use that as well. It's pretty easy, uh, easy to do. Once you get it all, you're going to get all these little zips here and uh, unzip it. You should come along with this. So here's the actual file size if you want to see if it's going to fit on your SD card before you download. It's 14.8 gigabytes. 15,931,539,456 bytes. Okay, so that's the image. All you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and run your, you're gonna run your SD formatter. Go ahead and format your SD card. And then you're going to run the Win32, run an administrator, and then uh, make sure you're on the right device. Drag, you can't drag, you actually have to click this, go find the .img file, and uh, go ahead and hit right. Let it write and then put it in your Pi and you should boot up directly. Some people ask me if you have to do the RetroPie setup first or download the stock image first. No, no, all you need is this and write it and then boot it up. All right, I hope you enjoyed this preview of the image and how to get it. I mean, this really comes down to this is a no frills image. It's just no BS, gives you all the games. No, you're not wasting the space on any video previews. So you get a very bare bones experience. I mean, you still have box art and things like that, but you get a little more bare bones experience. But instead of that, you get a really large collection of games with a really cheap micro SD card. Um, so you save a little money up front. 
And uh, for those looking for a value, I would say you found it here. Um, it's also cool that this works for the Pi 2. So talk about huge value, right? If you can pick up a Pi 2 and the SD card and get the controller and everything under like 40, 50 bucks, I mean, you're really gaming on the cheap. So really cool that they have this option out for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have a question, comment below. If you like what I do, maybe subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.